We got a small coon this morning in this cubby set we had in the bank here yesterday we showed you. Uh, I figured we'd pick up a few more with these feeders behind us. Or that feeder and them dog proofs in the cubby box. But we didn't get nothing but this one here. It rained pretty hard last night. It messed up some of our sets too that we had on land. Uh, we'll have to get some buckwheat holes to try to keep the rain from messing up my dirt holes and stuff, I guess. Uh, that's what I was told anyways. We go head on up the line here after we take care of this little guy and see what else we got. He ain't a real big coon, but second day of the season, we'll take what we can get for now and start hammering them hard in about two weeks. Well, we got another coon over here on this set. He's a little fella, but the guy we're trapping him for right here, he wants everything out. He got change eating his cat food and everything up. So. He ain't a big one, but he'll go on the stretcher same as the rest. Let me check our line here. Got up to one trap. Got a pretty good sized coon in it, I believe. Trying to hide back in the hole there. Uh, hide something here and poke him with it. You can see where he's tried digging up a bank. Get out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a feisty. That's a good old coon there. Pretty good size. Well, we'll go ahead and dispatch him, get him out of here, and reset, and hopefully have another one tomorrow. We had nothing yet up until this box trap here. We had it baited with marshmallows. Uh, pretty good old coon. He about dug a whole bottom out from underneath that thing. Uh, see, we've checked three traps already, and nothing yet. So, we got one here. One right here. That ain't bad. Starting out pretty good. This little dude's about froze to death, I believe. It's a uh, 21, 22 degrees, I think, this morning. Wind chill's about 10 degrees. Yep, we got another raccoon here this morning, a DP. Uh, pretty good sized coon. It's about 18 degrees this morning, so we're having to deal with a little bit of cold. I'm actually surprised we caught one last night. Well, we're going to take care of him and see what else we got. Well, we uh, run 34 sets yesterday, all coon, but four predator sets and uh, one beaver set. This is the first coon in the morning. And I'm looking, he's got a tag in his ear there. And he don't look to be caught very good. Uh, we got a double right here. I set a couple of DPs down in the bank. He's a little vicious one. And, uh, we got another one down the bank here about 15 yards. Well, here's another cane. This is on a double. We got one right up behind us. We got this one here. Well, we got another cane this morning. This is only the second one of the day. I had a pocket sit right here underneath this log. Got him in a back foot catch. We'll get him took care of, and then we've got a, another set right up here on this point. We got a mink in it, so we'll get up there. We got a mink here this morning. Uh, had a pocket set underneath the log there, and uh, as you can see, we got a mink. I'd say it's a female. I don't know. This is my first mink ever, so we'll be setting a lot more pockets on the river this year. We actually picked up a mink this morning. On the way down here on the road that somebody hit last night, it's a whole lot bigger than this thing. Be my first one, it might be a small one, I don't know. Well, yeah, we got us a coon and a bobcat set today. Well, we got a coon here this morning. He ain't the biggest in the world, but we're going to take him. I ain't got very many coon this year. And this one's got uh, two tags in his ear, one in each ear. That's the uh, third coon I've caught this year It's tagged. This was a predator set, a uh, bridger number two. Big old possum. So much for a bobcat set. 
That is a stud of a possum right there.